Hello, Hello. and welcome, welcome to the Bulldog, Bulldog TV News, an affiliate of the USA News, News Network. Network. I'm Cameron. And I'm Serena. Here's, Here's what, what we have for you today. today. Donald Trump held court from his perch high above Manhattan on Monday, receiving a line of formal rival, longtime allies, and TV executives while overseeing a president transition as at times resembles a reality show like the one he once hosted. Trump met with nearly a dozen prospective hires, all of whom were paraded in front of the cameras set up in the Trump Tower lobby as they entered to see the president-elect. Out of public view himself, he fell back on his TV star roots by filming a video that toted his legislative goals once he takes office. Trump did not immediately announce any appointments after the meetings, which came on the heels of a two-day whirlwind of interviews at his golf course in New Jersey. Unlike his predecessors, who often spoke with cabinet candidates under a cloud of secrecy, Trump has turned the search into a very public audition process. The driver of a school bus that was filled with elementary students when it crashed in Chattanooga, Tennessee, killing at least five children, has been arrested and faces charges, including vehicular homicide. Following the Monday afternoon crash, every public safety professional's worst nightmare, Chattanooga Police Ch Chief Fred Fletcher told an overnight news conference that 24-year-old bus driver John Jonathan Walker was charged with five counts of vehicular homicide. Walker was also charged with reckless driving and reckless endangerment. Investigators were looking at speed very strongly as a factor. 35 students from kindergarten through fifth grade were on board when the bus flipped onto its side and wrapped around a tree. The bus was the only vehicle involved in the crash. A manhunt for a suspect in a shooting of a veteran Texas police detective ended Monday evening with an arrest in the slaying, which was one of several weekend attacks that authorities say targeted law enforcement in multiple states. The San Antonio detective, as well as officers in Missouri and Florida, were conducting routine tasks Sunday when they became the targets of violence. The detective was riding a traffic ticket when he was shot to death in his squad car late Sunday morning outside police headquarters. The shootings were the latest in what law enforcement officials say is an alarming spike in ambush-style attacks. 60 officers were shot to death on the job this year, compared to 41 in all of 2015, according to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. The celebrity wattage will be blinding at the White House on Tuesday as 21 entertainers, athletes, scientists, and other newsmakers receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civil, civilian honor, which is presented to individuals who have made especially meritorious contributions to significant public or private endeavors. This year's list includes musicians Bruce Springsteen and Diana Ross, as well as Hollywood Giants Tom Hanks, Robert De Niro, Robert Redford, and Cecily Tyson. From TV, there's Ellen De DeGeneres and Saturday Night Live creator Lorne Michaels. Basketball legends Michael Jordan and Cam Abdul-Jabbar represent the sports world. Bill Bill and Melinda Gates and other philanthropists made the list as well. Authorities on Monday defended their decision to douse protesters with water during a skirmish in sub-freezing weather near the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline. And organizers said at least 17 protesters were taken into a hospital, including some who were treated for hypothermia. The clash occurred as protesters trying to push past a long blocked bridge on a state highway were turned back by authorities using tear gas, rubber bullets, and water hoses. One officer was injured when struck in the head with a rock. One protester was arrested. The Standing Rock Sioux and others opposed the 1,200-mile four-state pipeline because they say it threatens drinking water on their reservation and cultural sites. Coastal residents in Japan were ordered to flee to higher ground on Tuesday after a strong earthquake with a magnitude of 7.4 struck off the coast of Fukushima. The Japan Meteorological Agency issued a tsunami warning for waves of up to 10 feet in Fukushima and another prefecture in a tsunami advisory for much of the rest of northeast Japan's Pacific coast. There were no immediate reports of damage or injury. Tsunami of up to 3 feet were recorded about an hour after the 6 a.m. earthquake and the tsunami warning area was widened later at, in the morning. Fukushima is home to the nuclear power plant that was destroyed by a huge tsunami following an offshore earthquake in 2011. Angela Bassett has joined the cast of Marvel Studios' Black Panther. She will play Ramonda, mother of Takala, aka Black Panther, played by Chadwick Boseman, in the Marvel mythology. The Oscar nominee joins Michael B. Jordan, Forrest Whitaker, and Lupita Nyong'o in the cast. 
So the superhero made his debut in Disney's Marvel Universe this summer in Captain America Civil War. Black Panther is set to hit theaters February 16th, 2018. Kanye West has been hospitalized after abruptly canceling the last 21 dates of his national tour, according to reports from several media outlets, citing anonymous law enforcement sources and West representatives' media outlets reported that the hip-hop star was taken to UCLA Medical Center on Monday afternoon because of stress and exhaustion and was spending the night there for his own safety and health. West St. Pablo shows have recently been marred by bizarre rants from the rapper, including his controversial statements out on stage about how he would have voted for Donald Trump in a tirade they called out Jay-Z and Beyonce. Radio program was Hillary Clinton, Google, and Zach Mark Zuckerberg. Winter is pretty much here, but what about spring, summer, and fall? HBO programming president Casey Bellows says they are, taking, they are talking to author George R.R. R. Martin about the possible Game of Thrones spinoff series. EW reports the talks are still in the preliminary stages, so don't expect any spoilers at this stage. Over 76,000 Rowdy fans packed up Azteca Stadium in Mexico City last night to witness the Oakland Raiders take down the Houston Texans 27-20 and become one of the AFC's best teams. Raider quarterback Derek Carr continued to astound previous critics and naysayers thrown for 295 yards and three touchdowns despite being held to 120 yards of total offense in the first three quarters of the game. Officiating become continuous both before and after the game as both teams will give poor calls and also poor replay booth viewing, including a long touchdown run by the Texans that was nullified on a supposed step out of bounds, Oakland improved to 8-2 and two with their fourth win in a row, the first streak of its kind since 2002, the last time the Raiders made the Super Bowl. The Golden State Warriors perhaps showed a little softer side of this season's evil empire vibe, opening up a balanced and shared offense to demolish the injury-decimated Indiana Pacers 120-83. to Klay Thompson kept his shooting fire lit, leading the Dubs with 25 points and Steph Curry had 22 but the scoring was mostly spread around the entire team, with all but one player scoring for the win. The Pacers, on the other hand, struggled for the entire game and found their footing, missing three key players in Paul George, Miles Turner, and C.J. Miles, who sat out the game for, with injuries. The 76ers record their fourth win of the season with a 101 to 94 win over the Heat. Joe Embed led the Sixers with 22 points. Bradley Beal puts on a show with a career-high 42 points for the Washington crowd as the Wizards set down the Suns 106-101. to The Grizzlies win their fourth in a row by swatting the Hornets 105-90. to James Harden puts up another double-double with 28 points as the Rockets pace the Pistons 99-96. to The Bucks rally for a big fourth-quarter push and overcome the Magic 93-89. Isaiah Thomas led all scorers with 29 points to power the Celtics over the Timberwolves 99 to 93. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard slams home 24 points to lead the Spurs over the Mavs 96 to 91. And the streaking LA Clippers beat the Toronto Raptors 123 to 115, their 10th victory in 11 games. The Buffalo Sombres temper the Flames 4 to 2, scoring three big power play goals. The Penguins' goal. First period led only to let the Rangers rally back from a huge 5-2 win. Matt Duchesne's OT went up put the Aves over the Jackets 3-2. P.K. Saban scored two goals in the Predators 3-1 victory over the Lightning. The Stars stopped the Wild 3-2 in an overtime win. Leon Dreisaitl notched a brace of goals as the Oilers blew out the Blackhawks 5-zip. And, and the San Jose Sharks sent the new Jersey Devils to their third straight loss with a 4-0 victory. That's all we have for you today. I'm Cameron. And I'm Serena. Join us again tomorrow for the Daily News. Bulldog TV News is an affiliate of the USA News Network. We'll see you next time.